Coming up on today's show, is Peyton Manning going to finally join the Broncos ownership group front office or even alliance, as Woody Page put it? We got that plus. Could this spell the end of the John Elway era? All that coming your way right now. Welcome into the Broncos Breakdown by Chat Sports. Matthew Peterson here with the latest news and rumors on our good friend Peyton Manning, and who might be the next part owner or in some capacity involved with the new ownership regime in Denver. Because Mile High Huddle putting this out over the weekend saying, Report Peyton Manning expected to join the Alliance, which Sounds like a new Star Wars movie, but anywho, of a new Broncos leadership. John Elway remains a consultant. So we're going to break down both sides of the story, the Peyton Manning side of things and the John Elway side of things. But here's what Woody Page said about this. Peyton Manning is expected to join the alliance, and one of the partners among the losers of the auction bidding could be invited to be a partner. One source says Michael S. Dell, creator of Dell Computer, ever heard of it, company, and a co-partner with Rob Walton in Hawaii Resort Development, may participate with the Broncos. Well, sorry, Mr. Dell, we'll get to you later. But let's focus on number 18. Yes, make this happen. Get Peyton Manning in the building, whether it's literally running concessions or back to his internship. I don't care what it is. Peyton Manning is one of the brightest football minds to ever walk the earth. You have to get him involved in some capacity. Do not let him get away, Mr. Walton. I don't care what it is. Give him it and get him in the building because he knows more about football than any other part of this new ownership group combined. All right? That's how I feel about this, if you couldn't tell. We should all be rooting for Peyton Manning to be joining the Broncos' new ownership regime. So if you want to get the video where you get the push notification, turn those noties on, and it says... Breaking, Peyton Manning joins Broncos ownership. Make sure you subscribe. I'm not going to say if you don't subscribe that it won't happen, but I'm not not saying it, so why leave it up to chance? Right? Why jinx it? All you got to do is hit a sub button, and you get locked in for free daily Broncos content. Pretty good deal to me. Now let's revisit what the Broncos ownership group looks like because it's grown since Rob Walton and co-owner, uh, you know, Greg Penner, his son-in-law, along with Kerry Walton Penner, Purchased the team for a lot of moolah. Um, but Melody Hobson, also a part of it, along with most recently Condoleezza Rice. So hopefully we'll get a sixth name added to that sheet right there. And I would love for that sixth name to be Peyton Effin Manning. And if you want that to happen, just like the video. Because why put any bad juju in the world when all it takes is hitting a thumbs up icon and we move right along. So make sure you like today's video if you want Peyton to be a part of the ownership group. My big takeaway when I first saw this report was, huh, is, is Dove Valley big enough for two sheriffs? Because I'm not quite sure if there is room for John Elway and Peyton Manning to both be working for the front office or ownership in some capacity, whatever it may be, at a high level. Now, John Elway is currently on a one-year consulting contract with the Broncos, which is basically... Just, we're going to pay you because you're John freaking Elway. You've done so much for us, and you can stick around, and we'll take your advice when we ask for it. Personally, unpopular opinion maybe by some, I think it is time for Elway to, to step aside, right? He's been with this organization for, God, three decades at this point? Four? It feels even longer than that. It, it is, yeah, four decades now. It is time for him to step aside, move along, and let George Payton and this new entire front, right? New ownership, new GM, new quarterback, new everything. It's time to let them go on their way and for you to watch the games from the box without a stake in this. But do you want John Elway to stick around? Do you want him to be in the war room saying, you know, that quarterback is like six foot seven. He's got a huge arm. We should draft him. Like, no, John, no, we're not doing that again. You, you got your chance. Brock Osler did not work out. All right. Let me know what you think. Why for yes or N for no. Now, here's what Woody Page said about John Elway. Elway sought to become a 1% minority shareholder with the winning partnership, but that role appears highly improbable. So now you've got, um, I don't know, a bit of drama potentially of, hey, John, we appreciate everything you've done here, but 
we're not interested in you having even a 1% stake in this. It's time for us to really kind of cut ties after this one-year consulting job potentially. Really a one-year, you get to hang around the office, you get an office, and we'll listen to you here and there because you're John Elway and you've given this franchise so much. So I think it's time. I think it's going to be kind of the end of the Elway era. But it's hard to say that right now with much guarantee. But who was your favorite quarterback? While we talk about Elway and Peyton Manning, let me know who your favorite QB was. Was it Elway? If so, put seven down in the comments. Or if it was Peyton Manning, this is kind of like an age check too because pretty obvious I did not live and watch a ton of football during the Elway era. So Peyton for me, 18. But let me know which quarterback was your favorite down in the comments. Last up on the show, I just wanted to share this little bit of Woody Page's article about how much money the Bolin children, all seven, yeah, are receiving after the sale. It's pretty insane, all right? Here's what Woody Page said. Two of Pat Bolin's children are still employed by the Broncos, but their future with their franchise isn't likely after the sale because each will receive one-ninth of $4.65 billion. Uh, dividing proceeds with six other Bolins, including Pat's brother, John, who gets two allotments. If the family had agreed, Brittany Bolin, Broncos Senior Vice President of Strategy, would have been the primary owner. That was the lawsuit, right? Patrick Bolin, the oldest son, the third, is Stadium Facilities Coordinator. The second son, John Bolin, who was exiled, has told me he is running, surfing, playing golf, and enjoying life. The two sons have, and the five daughters from two Bolin marriages each will be rewarded with more than $525 million U.S. dollars. Sweet baby Jesus. $525 million. What a time to be alive and just inherit that after the sale. There was lawsuits and whatnot a couple years ago and, you know, the, the trust and all that, you know, drama of what would happen to the team and ultimately it gets through and it gets sold but to get 525 million dollars it's a little difficult to really fathom but we'll wrap up the show with this question because i thought it could be fun to see what kind of answers we get here what would you buy first with 525 million dollars marshall producer marsh what would you would you go like second home or yacht I, okay, Marsh is going to go with, yeah, I think I would do second home. Um, I would do second home on the Gulf side of Florida, right? You know, um, get a big bit, get a yacht too, actually. That would be my second, 1A, 1A and 1B. Mansion with the yacht. It'd be two for one special. Probably get a good deal on it. Probably actually wouldn't even be that much when you combined them. Would, would feel like nothing. All right, that's going to do it for us on today's show. I really appreciate all of you guys for clicking on to it getting updated on the latest Broncos news and rumors, and we'll see you later here on the Broncos Breakdown.